Okay guys, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about transpilers. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, ES2015 ships with a lot of new features. However, all of these features are not yet fully implemented in all the browsers. Now, Chrome and Firefox are nearly there, implementing almost 90% of ES2015 features, but there are still a few features that are missing. Now, you might be wondering, what is the use of learning ES2015 if it is not yet implemented? Now, this would be a different story if you were watching this video, let's say in 2017. But for now, this is where a transpiler comes in handy. So a transpiler takes the ES2015 source code that we write and it generates the ES5 code that runs in every browser. Now, there are a few transpilers available like Tracer or Babel, but for our tutorial series, we are going to be using TypeScript as the transpiler. So we will be writing ES2015 code and TypeScript is going to transpile that code to ES5, which will run on every browser. So we can still write code that works on the browser. So in the next video, let us go through the initial setup that is required to get started with ES2015 and TypeScript. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.